Hey guys, I'm Daniel, the guitarist from Cult of Lilith. And I'm Mario, uh, the vocalist of Cult of Lilith. And today we're going to be eating some uh, traditional Icelandic delicacies. And since uh, Mario is not from Iceland, we thought it would be a, a great idea to let him taste a bit of Iceland. Mm -hmm. Thorra is is this um, a selection of traditional Icelandic food prepared in a traditional manner such as fermenting. And today it is tra traditional to consume Thorra Matur on a mid-winter feast in January and February. This feast is referred to as Thorra Blot and starts on the first full moon after winter solstice. After Christianity took over in Iceland, the Thorra Blot feast was criticized for promoting Old Norse religion. There was no religious freedom in Iceland until 1874. So we're gonna get started here and eat some fermented ram's balls. We eat turnip or mashed turnips with this because it's fermented, so it tastes kind of sour. And this is a great way to kind of contrast the sourness and it's sweet, so it works really well with it. And we're gonna be washing this down with some mesa, which is whey, it's the liquid remaining after milk has been curdled and strained. It's a byproduct of the manufacture of cheese. And Iceland whey was both a drink and a good way to store food in the old days before modern refrigeration. So let's just do a little. You gotta get an extra piece there. I'm sure you like it. <laughs> Just cut it mm -hmm. and scoop some of that mashed turnips with it. Okay. Might be good to taste a little bit by itself as well. Good you brought your appetite, right? Oh, I'm sorry, but. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I think this is fucking disgusting. <laughs> well, maybe it helps to wash it down with a with a bit of whey. <laughs> Have a sip there. <laughs> and this is the first thing. Oh. This is the first thing. Yeah. You gotta get a good taste here, you know. Oh, what is this? Okay, wait, I'm not overreacting. <laughs> I'm not overreacting. This is I think in America they call these uh, Rocky Mountain oysters. Or if that's goat's balls, I'm not sure. So next, we have some slautur, um, which directly translates to slaughter. Um, slautur is made from lamb blood and suet. The stomach from the lamb is cut down and soon into small pockets, which are filled with blood and suet, along with some rye flour. Slautur can be eaten hot, cold, or fermented. Families would traditionally gather in the slaughter season and create slaughter together. In the 2008 recession in Iceland, people increased their slaughter consumption because of its affordability. So this one is like called Libra Pilsa, which is the liver, I guess, liver sausage. It's good. One is okay. <laughs> I think but it's really I would good actually. Never say it's great. You know? um, Icelanders use this a lot also, the liver sausage with <clears throat> with rice pudding. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm, I think it's great. What do you prefer? Whoa. The Rams balls or the uh the slouch? <laughs> I prefer a fucking croissant, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to choose. Okay, so next up is uh, also slaughtered, but this one is called Blodmer. And we actually have a heavy metal band here in Iceland called Blodmer. Fun little fact. And this is kind of uh, blood pudding or or, um, or kind of like haggis, what 
they do in a lot of other countries as well. Yes. They will also fry these up and, and put some sugar on it here. For this sugar? Yep. Pretty good. <laughs> it's it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste like food to me. Do you know what I mean? Like um, so, the next one is called Lunta Baggi, and it's sheep loin wrapped in sheep intestine or colon. Yeah, it's made from the sheep's loins wrapped in a salted sheep colon. It's then put into a diaphragm and boiled. It can be eaten fresh, fermented, or smoked. Mm -hmm. It smells all right. Mm -hmm. It has like the texture of meat, you know, and then and then the fermentation kind of kicks, kicks in. in yeah. Uh -huh. ah! Then it's a good idea to just wash it down with some whey. And also, no, it's if, you, not. <laughs> if you try some of the try try it now with the with the mashed turnips and just check how kind of it balances out the fermentation and the flavor. <laughs> Taking really tiny bites there. <coughs> All right. So the next up is actually one of my favorites. It's called Srida Sutta. And apparently it's called head cheese. When I've been talking to my friends from the States about it, I always call it sheep face jam, because that's basically what Srida Sutta directly translates to. Yeah, so it. Um, the singed sheep heads are boiled until the meat falls from the bones and due to the high amount of collagen, it forms into a jam. This is currently very popular in Iceland after the ketogenic diet became trendy. And I buy it a lot of times, not fermented, but I think it's a, a great snack. <laughs> yeah, let's see, it sounds, I don't know, I prefer to use sheep paste jam because head cheese to me sounds like dandruff or something. <laughs> <laughs> the sheep face jam sounds much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds. It sounds better. Uh, head cheese just cool. reminds me of that movie Waiting, when uh, with Ryan Reynolds, I think, when he was uh, scratching his head to put dandruff like over spaghetti as ah. Parmesan cheese or something. So oh, this is the good stuff. <laughs> Everything smells very similar. Yeah. You take a whole thing? Yeah, one bite. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you hate nice things in life? Why do you have to fucking ferment everything? <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Kind of like metal. Dude, honestly, this is fire. <laughs> it's like... This is pretty bad. So, the fermented shark. A Greenland shark traditionally buried for fermentation and then hung to dry for four to six months. The reason for such a high ammonia smell, and please smell it, in fermented sharks is because sharks don't have a urinary tract. The urine will extract through their skin. For this reason, it can be poisonous to eat fresh Greenland shark. There have been cases of polar bears dying after eating freshly killed sharks. So you're you're basically smelling shark piss mixed with like fermentation. So traditionally, these would be eaten with some uh, Icelandic brennivín or Black Death. It's this hard liquor. I think it's made from cumin. Um, yeah, it goes really well with that because there's this strong cumin taste in grenadine. 
and this kind of balances that out. But since we don't have that, we can always wash it down with some whey. to eat that. No, 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 no. Come on. Put, <laughs> eat the whole thing. It's just a little piss drenched shark meat. Oh. I, I, I honestly can't. Get I can't, can't honestly. Get a new piece. <laughs> get a new one of the small no, pieces. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut a really small. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get a puke back. Puke? Puke in the bag because I will kill you if you puke on my floor. Here, you can throw this in your puke bag. <laughs> but if you puke, it's good to wash it down with sugar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's such a tiny piece. I didn't expect this to be this bad, honestly. <laughs> so next, we have the singed sheep head. Huh? It's absolutely a must to eat the eyeball. That's uh, no. traditional here, so... No. <laughs> you have to eat the eyeball, Manuel. For the first time. Here. So start off with that. <clears throat> then we'll get to the good stuff. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> <laughs> just eat it. I'm going to show the camera. Yeah, just... <laughs> you can wash it down with some weight if you like. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh. So. Oh, did you want it though? No, not now. Oh. So now we're gonna pull this guy apart here, cause the uh, the best parts of this, <clears throat> or my favorite at least, are the cheeks and the tongue. The tongue is really good, so we just rip open the mouth here. See, it's real pretty. And. Yeah, when you couldn't buy toys here in the old days in Iceland, kids would use the the jaws of the sheep heads to as as guns. Let's see. Here's the tongue. You absolutely have to try some of the tongue. It's probably the best part. I think you'll like it. It's a pretty big tongue. It's not even all of it. Good? Mm. Yeah. No, this is okay. It's good. Oh, this is actually okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Then we have the mm. cheeks. The cheeks are really nice as well. Tell me which one you prefer. Cheeks the cheek? That. Yeah. You cheeky bastard. <laughs> Underestimate some cheeks. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. And it's really nice to wash it down with some whey as well.
they scoop the brain out before, so <clears throat> unfortunately I... we can't taste that. But there's something Shame. here. You want to taste it? No, I think I'll pass. Thanks for joining us in uh, letting Mario taste some Icelandic delicacies. Check out our album Mara, out now from Metal Blade Records. And yeah, cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Good to edit with some weight. Good. That's a breath. That's a breath. It's all right.